the uh, garage so that I can bring my car home. I put up a new garage door opener since uh, we haven't had one, a working one, in like three and a half years um, since prior to the Dave Ramsey experiment. So um, maybe my experiment it was a success, but. So anyway, uh, here you go. There it is. My car. Brought it home. Awesome interior. Wooden steering wheel. Some of you have uh, heard of my car. Some of you have gotten a glimpse of it. Some of you have gotten a good look at it. Some of you have even ridden inside it. While others of you have let me park it in your parents' driveway and they covered up the hole in the convertible top with magazines or newspapers or something because they thought that when it started raining, my car was going to get ruined. Appreciate that. Um, so anyway, I'll give you a little tour of the garage as it is at the moment. Still has a bunch of junk in here to, to get out. But uh, we put up some shelving and some pegboard uh, for my tools. And we've got basically one side kind of cleaned out. So here's the uh, shelving. Dual here. And then we got just space up there in case we have something tall. And then down the other side, we've got another shelf up top. So we got a three-decker there. In the middle, we got shelving up the top there, along with my pegboard for my tools. Get a far away shot of that. And then uh, this right here, these are the deep cycle batteries we use to go tailgating with. Got one trickle charging at the moment, just took this one off. And, of course, that's the sea do all covered up right now. <clears throat> and the um, cardboard is there in preparation for the return of the Dodge, the 1970 Dodge Challenger convertible. This is my new garage door opener that I installed. The other one, uh, let's see if you can see this down here. Now you can't see it. Well, maybe. That's the internals of the other one, and there's a big plastic gear there that is just eaten up. And so the motor would run, the motor would run, but the, uh, the wouldn't open the door because it was just spinning, spinning without biting into anything. So uh, instead of trying to find somebody open that serviced that type of garage door opener or finding a dealer for that particular one, I just went to uh, one of your local home improvement warehouses. And I picked up a Chamberlain garage door opener and it took me, uh, probably should have taken me less time, but probably took me about five hours to install it. But now I don't have to pull the emergency thing and lift the garage door up by hand anymore. So that's, that's very much nicer. All right, check you later. Oh, <laughs> my